Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do right now is show you how to set up a Dropbox account. So, first thing you're going to do is you are going to Google Dropbox. So right up here in the search bar, I'm going to look for Dropbox and Google it. And then you're obviously going to see these links. I'm going to click on Dropbox Simplify Your Life, www.dropbox.com. So when I do that, this is what's going to appear. You will not see this box right here because you have not yet created an account. So this Titan FFA at gmail.com is the account that we use for the school. So this is the image that you will see immediately when you pull up this website. So you're going to go over here and you're going to go ahead and click on the little arrow next to sign in. And then you're going to click on create an account. So just simple click right there. So I'm going to enter my information. In this case, I'm about to become Bob the Builder. And I created a fake email account just to work with this. And I'm going to create a password for that. So when you create your account, a couple of helpful hints are you do not want to use your school email address as a general rule because the schools tend to have very stringent um, settings that don't allow Dropbox emails to get through. So when I was setting up this system for the Ag teachers at Napoma High School, we initially tried to use their school email addresses and the school just blocked out all of the emails which are necessary to validate the account and a couple of other things. So if you can avoid using your school email, that's probably best. And I also would not use the same password for this that you use for your other email. It's just good to have a variety of passwords that you use. So I'm going to agree to the Dropbox terms and create my account. So now what it's going to do is it's going to automatically, you saw this little guy just jump from right here, it's going to automatically attempt to download the Dropbox software, which is fine. I already have the Dropbox software on my computer, so it won't do me any good to install it again, but if you are on a computer that you want to use Dropbox on, that's great, it's awesome, you'll be able to download it again later, even if you didn't want to do that right now. So, Dropbox. So then I'm going to click on this Dropbox file over here, and it's going to take me to this page. And so it says, get started. You're five steps away from 250 megabytes bonus. So you can take the Dropbox tour, which I highly recommend. It gives you a good idea of some of the basic things. Um, you can then install Dropbox on your computer, put files in your Dropbox folder, install Dropbox on computers you use. So these are all great things. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually just go ahead and click on Dropbox right here so I can go to the actual folder. And show you a couple of things. So once I'm in this Dropbox, the folders that it defaults to is it's going to give you a photos folder and it's going to give you this getting started little PDF manual. Feel free to peruse that at your leisure. It's got good information there. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a tour about what you're going to see. So you're going to see this upload button. This is going to allow you to upload files. So for instance, uh, you just click that upload button then click choose files and I can upload any of the pictures or anything else off of my desktop or out of my files, wherever. So right now I'm going to upload a picture of an anticodon. Okay, and so now that's done, I have a green check mark, done. So anticodon is now in here. So then I can, if I felt like adding this to a folder, I can make a new folder. So let's call this Ag Biology. And so within that Ag Biology, I could upload more photos. And then this button that says Share a Folder, I'm going to go into a in a little bit more detail in a while, but this is really what's going to make Dropbox such an invaluable tool for you. And then there's also, uh, you can delete files, all this kind of great stuff. And then right here at the top, you're going to see a button where it says Get Free Space. And this is really awesome because you start out with two gigabytes of storage. And this tells you about how you can get more storage. So you can pay for Dropbox, you can get up to 100 gigabytes, uh, which does cost money. You can download Dropbox, you can refer your friends. So referring your friends, for instance, if you referred all of your students, you get 500 megabytes per student up to 16 gigabytes. So if you have your students set up Dropbox accounts, it's a very good idea that you send them this referral so that you can actually increase your free space. So like right now, my Dropbox has like 23 gigabytes because of all the various things that I've done and it's still free. So you can connect your Facebook account, connect your Twitter account, 
follow Dropbox on Twitter, and doing all of these different things will allow you to get more free space. So we'll go back to my Dropbox. And over here again, this is how you get back to that original page, which is the Get Started page. And so I put a file in my Dropbox, so it crossed that one out for me. So there's just five more things that I can do in order to get my bonus 250 megabytes to um, help increase my storage. So now I would have 2.25 gigabytes of storage in my Dropbox instead of just the standard two. Okay, so that pretty much explains how to set up Dropbox initially. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And I will have other videos that explain a little bit more thoroughly how to use Dropbox to make your life easier.